Starting web design can be daunting, so if I had to start from scratch today, this is what I would do. Hello, I'm your host Casino from Casino.com. I'm the Digital Alchemist, and today I'm going to share with you what I would do if I had to start learning web design from scratch today. Now, of course, you could just enroll in a dedicated school, but this is not what we're talking about today. Instead, I'm going to share with you what I would do if I had to start learning from home. So the first thing I would do is just to get a solid foundation. Just think about it. If you're trying to build a house before you build the walls and make just the interior design, you need a solid foundation. Well, the same goes for web design. Because as much as I love tutorials, they are not the best when it comes to the building blocks to lay a solid foundation. Because first of all, what is web design? See, web design can mean a lot of different things for a lot of different people. So nowadays when people talk about web designer, they often mean web professionals that can create websites but with a strong focus on design. And sometimes the same people refer to web developers as web professionals able to create websites but with a focus on coding. And I didn't even talk about UI, UX and many other acronyms. So as you can see, a lot of web disciplines are intertwined and it can be overwhelming to understand who does what. And that's why it's so crucial to have a solid foundation so you actually know what you do and you know what you're heading to. So in that perspective, tutorials may not be the best option because tutorials do not come in a specific order and you need a specific order if you want to acquire the building blocks to start a web design career. Now, let me give you an example. Let's say that you want to recreate a specific song and instead of receiving all the notes in a specific order, the instruments and everything, all you receive is the keys, but you don't know in which specific order. Eventually, if you got a good ear for music and if you love that song and stick long enough, you'll probably be able to recreate it. But that's going to take so much time and so much trial and error. Now, on the other hand, if you were given a document with all the notes in a specific order, don't you think that it would be way easier? Now, obviously, I'm not a full-blown musician, but you get the idea. True musicians can actually receive such a document and they can start playing the song right away because they got the music theory. Now, don't worry because you won't need to study for years and you won't need to break the bank. You may even get it for free and I'll explain why and how. So the one I recommend is called Team Treehouse. And I know there are other places, but this is the one I tried a few years ago and it turned out quite well for me. So at Team Treehouse, you can learn to co-design and more all on your own time. So you can really study from home. So this is the pricing for Team Treehouse. So it's 25 bucks a month. And honestly, if you have a lot of time on your hand with just one month, you can learn the basics. And I would go even further because there's a seven day trial, free trial. So if you are a hardcore learner, you can totally learn the foundation in those seven days. That's going to be hard, but you can totally do it. So you would get it completely free of charge. Now, for most people, that's going to be between one and six months, depending on what you're trying to learn. As I said, there are many different tracks and many different things and web disciplines. So whether you want to be a web designer, a web developer, or a UI, UX designer, you get the idea. But in our case, we're going to focus on web design. So if you go to teamtreehouse.com forward slash tracks, you will land here and there are various tracks. Now, it can be overwhelming looking at all those tracks and you may be tempted to think that you need to learn all of that to become a web professional and you couldn't be further from the truth. You don't need to learn all of that. If you can learn all of that, then great. But the goal here is to focus on web design. So there is a track called web design. And if I click on it, I land here and on this page it's going to show you everything you will learn in this track. So it's 41 hours. So like I said, if you want to learn all of that in one week, that's going to be tough. That's going to be a hardcore learning week, but you can totally do it and it's going to be completely free of charge. Now, this is what you're going to learn. Introduction to HTML and CSS. And even though you have no intention to write HTML and CSS, maybe you want to use WordPress, but still, I do recommend that you learn at the bare minimum the basics of HTML and CSS because that's going to help you so much down the line because even if you use WordPress, things are going to happen, things are not going to work and if you know HTML and CSS, that's going to help you so, so much. So next you're going to learn HTML basics, web design process, and many many other things now honestly you don't need to learn all of that to get started 
in my opinion, you need HTML and CSS just to get started as a foundation, then you can always come back to this course if you want to learn more stuff. But I don't want you to feel overwhelmed because that's how I felt when I got started. I thought I needed to learn everything when actually I did not. Now, if you go back to the tracks page and we scroll down underneath web design, you can see design skills for web developers. Now, you may be wondering why am I pointing you to this course when you're not a web developer? Well, simply because some of the lessons are quite interesting like visual design foundations, which for some reason is not in the web design track. So it's interesting to actually complete it here. But like I said, you don't need to complete all of the lessons here. Some other interesting lessons are collecting design inspiration, introduction to wireframing, practice sketching, practice wireframing, creating user experiences, even though you may not be interested in user experience, but it's gonna help you to craft better web designs. Typography for web designers is very important, uh, as well as creating mockups before and after color. Basically, some of those lessons are really, really interesting. And cherry on the cake is only going to take 15 hours as compared to the 41 hours of the web design track. Next, be smart. And by being smart, I mean choose an ecosystem. So by ecosystem, I mean a set of tools and technologies that you're going to focus on. So for example, maybe you just want to take care of the design part of creating websites. Maybe you don't want to build websites yourself and maybe you want to specialize in the Adobe suite of tools. But if you want to also build the websites, maybe you want to code from scratch. And in this case, you will be a hybrid web designer, web developer. Or maybe you do not want to create everything from scratch and you want to use toolkits like Bootstrap. Maybe you want to use a CMS. And if you don't know, a CMS stands for Content Management System. And the definition says it's an application that is used to manage and publish web content, allowing multiple users to contribute, create, edit, publish without having to beg a developer. Now, there are many tools in that category, such as Webflow, which comes in a non-CMS version for static websites, but also in a CMS version for more dynamic websites and websites that need a lot of content to be updated. Another very popular tool, if not the most popular tool, is WordPress. And I'm not talking about WordPress.com, which you see now on screen. I'm talking about WordPress.org, which is the same company, but this is the open source and free version of WordPress. And that's what I've decided to use. But instead of just going to ThemeForest and similar website, purchasing themes and just slapping the client's logo on it, I tried to go a step further and create actually my own design. And for that, I use tools like Elementor and Elementor Pro. And with this tool, I can create pretty much anything I want. So Elementor is a page builder and is completely free. And Elementor Pro is the paid version and it's a theme builder, which means that I can really control the design of any theme of the website I'm building with WordPress. Such tools are a dream come true for web designers because trust me, back in the day, you had to do everything from scratch. Now, there are so many great features in the pro version of Elementor that I could create a dedicated video and it would be quite a lengthy one. But what I want you to remember is the fact that going pro, okay, is going to cost you some money, but that's going to make you so much money back because now you can create premium websites. And if your end goal is just to get a job and you don't want to go freelance, it's still going to help you because you'll be able to create tremendous websites for your portfolio. And as we will see later, it is precisely your portfolio that will get you hired. Now, if you don't have Elementor Pro yet, you'll find the link in the description below. This link, as well as the other links for the tools I mentioned in this video are affiliate links. So that means that I do get a commission if you purchase after clicking on one of the links, but I only recommend stuff that I absolutely love and that I recommend to friends and family. And also it gives a little kickback to the channel and it helps me keep on creating free content just for you. So the next tool of choice in my ecosystem is the CrocoBlock suite of plugins. This suite is purely amazing and it's a very good complement to Elementor Pro. You can create e-commerce websites, dynamic websites, booking websites, you name it. Another tool that I love is Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor, which as the name says, comes with add-ons for the Elementor plugin. Just like Elementor Extras, which comes with a few exclusive widgets. Now there are other add-ons that I use, but these are the main ones. And what I want you to remember is that no matter which ecosystem you use, just pick one. You don't have to use Elementor. I think it's really a great solution, but feel free to use whatever you want. Next, use the power of YouTube. 
So as you may know, YouTube is a search engine and a very powerful one. So now that you have a solid foundation, as we saw in step one, you can start using tutorials to your advantage. So the first thing I would do is I would learn how to create a one page website with WordPress. And luckily for you, I created such a course completely free of charge here on YouTube. So I will put the link in the description below. In this course, which is a bit over two hours, I really take the time to explain all the basics so that you can really feel confident once you've completed the course. So in a nutshell, let me show you a wireframe prototype version. So we have our section here and we can just click and it scrolls from section to section. Now, the only difference on a multi-page website would be that on a multi-pages website, you have multiple pages. Yeah, big news. But the difference would be that on the header, it will link to the different pages. Whereas here on the one page, it just scrolls to the next section that you clicked on. So as you may have guessed, the next step, once you feel confident to create a one page website will be to create a multi pages website. And at this stage, I wouldn't pay too much attention to the design. I would just really learn the platform and learn the ecosystem. And then once you've learned how to create a one page website and a multi pages website with WordPress, I will move on to my technique, which I call observe, mimic and repeat. So basically I've already covered that in a few videos, but in a nutshell, you would go to websites like the awards.com website that you see on screen right now or other web galleries for inspiration. And then I would pick a website that I like and I would try to recreate it. And of course, it's going to be challenging. And basically, by looking at a lot of good websites, you're going to develop your design skills way faster than with theory. And something I always recommend, especially for beginners, is try to spend minimum 15 minutes per day just looking at web design galleries and then pick the one you prefer and just write it down in a note application. Why do you like this website and add tags to it? So the next step is actually to create real websites. And for that, you're going to pick three entities. It could be businesses, it could be NGOs, association, or a mix of those three. And you're going to tell them, listen, this is how much it would cost if I had to create such a website for you. And I'm going to make an offer that you can't refuse. I'm going to build it for free, but with two conditions. So the first condition is that you can never reveal it was made for free. And the second condition is that I get the final word on the design, because if I'm going to build your website for free, it needs to be a win-win situation. And I want to put this website in my portfolio. So I need to have total control on the design. You will get some no's, but eventually you will get some yeses and all you need are three yeses. So you could build a one page website, a three pages website and a five pages website, for example. And the next step is going to be your own website. So it's going to be your portfolio website where you present those three projects. And even if you don't want to go the freelance route and maybe you're just looking for your first position as a web designer, it's exactly the same process. Your own website is going to present your portfolio. Next, reach your first goal. And that may be getting a job or going the freelance route. So if you're looking for a job, all you need to do is create a resume and cover letter and link to your portfolio. It must be really visible. And trust me, this is what is going to get you hired. Not your degrees, not your certifications. It's what you can do. So many people have studied for years and then they apply and they have nothing to show. And of course, if they're the only one that are applying for the job, they may get it. But if someone comes with a killer portfolio, trust me, they're going to get the job. Now, if you do want to go the freelance route, it's going to help you to get your first clients because when the clients see the work that you've done, they will see that it's professional and that's the best way you can convince them. They won't care about your tech degrees or certification. They will care about what you can produce for them. Now, if you go the freelance route, you will need a way to market yourself. And one of the ways is to try to rank into the Google search engine. But if you live in New York City, for example, good luck trying to rank for web design services. So instead, you may want to join platforms like Upwork and Fiverr, where you can get online gigs. Now, if you have the budget, you could also try online advertising. Yes, it's going to cost you some money, but it's going to make you some money back if you know what you're doing. You could also choose to market yourself by joining local business groups. It really depends on your time, your budget, your skill set. You may want to try all of these and see which ones brings you the best return on investment. Next, be hungry for more. Yes, be hungry for more because web design is not static. So you got to always be on the lookout for new techniques and new trends. But please don't be a fashion victim. The idea is to understand where the market is going so that you can stay on top. And since most of your competitors won't do it, 
you'll have the edge. Whether you want to pursue a career as an employed web designer or whether you want to be a freelance, it still applies. Because as an employee, your competitors are your colleagues. Even if you love your colleagues, they are your competitors. And if you want to climb the corporate ladder, your best shot is to do a better job than they do. And if you go freelance, staying on top means that you produce better websites, which means you can sell them for a premium. Let's face it, anybody can purchase a $59 premium WordPress theme and just slap the client's logo on it. But not everybody can understand a client's market and needs and communicate effectively through their web design skills. Now, if you're hesitating because you don't even know if you want to pursue a web design career and you don't want to go through learning the foundation before you find out, then I suggest you click on the video thumbnail appearing on screen right now. This is my free YouTube course about how to create a one-page website. This is the course I wish I had when I got started.